get down here. We should have the whole place to ourselves. A lot of people come out here in the spring and uh, they don't do much in the fall here. So, usually have the place to yourself. Whether it's fishing around or not, I don't know. Wow, uh, this is just wild. Well, wow, he's a little bigger. We could get some big fish at night, I don't know. But I'm just having fun with these guys. He was a little bit out there. But there are grass beds. Grass beds about. I'm just even just waiting for that water to turn. It didn't even start moving. See if he gets off on his own. He's a little bit bigger. I'm just fly fishing for striped bass here. Back in the New York City Bay. We have them all to ourselves. Four, 14 million people. And we're the only guys out here. I know if this is a big, a lot of the professional bass guys come out of here in the spring. I tend to lay away from those big crowds. I know when they're not around, and that's when I like to fish. And you're gonna take those wrists, you're gonna go in, and you're gonna have them to yourself. Or you're gonna take those wrists, you're gonna go in, and you're gonna have nothing. Just how it is. Let me see, I'm gonna lay a cast out there. No basket today. The fish are close in, I think. Do I have to groom my fly? Yes, I do. See that there feather? I didn't even cut that by knot. I was in a rush to get down here. And there we go. Actually, a smaller fly would be a little better, but I'm going to keep this guy on. He's working. Might pick up a few more fish on a bigger fly, but let's see. fly sink and they like those it seems that like that erratic retrieve give it a fast like a lot of rod tip let's see if we get a hit there we go wow whoa wow there they are getting bigger I'm gonna stick with the deceiver for now but a slammer might be fun we'll see how many of these guys we get today we have them all to ourselves in the middle of New York City. Just amazing fishing with the right here. I don't know how my lens is doing, so I'm gonna put it away. And it's just fun when you're fly fishing for these striped bass. There's New York City fly fishing for striped bass here. And we have the bite. I'm a little 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 amped up right now. Just the best. Oh wow, whoa, 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 don't want them, wow, that's a nice one, that's a nice fish, they're getting bigger, we could have the big boys at night, I don't know, he's still got some juice in him, he was coming around, trying to untangle out my line, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we don't get any we don't get any bluefish because they might kill that bite i'm going to be doing this i'm on the north shore of new york city here and uh water's higher than i expected and i'm waiting for it to move out i did see bunker on the walk down here um which is a good sign uh i know there's been bluefish around the north shore the birds are just frolicking now and they're looking for striped bass primarily but we got a great tide um, we're going to have the setting sun and I'm uh, going to be doing some fly fishing and I just got on now um, this is just a deceiver fly I'm thinking maybe popping in a little bit uh, it's a good skinny water popping we'll see that and we'll see but the fish should be coming in close they said the water is much higher than I thought kind of clear which is great and I'm going to fish the sunset and into the dark and we'll see what happens. If it's good during the dark, then we're going to be fishing in the dark. If not, I'm going to roll out of here early. So, Got one. Oh! All right. I've seen you. I don't know if you guys seen that, but we missed one and we followed up. 
Wow. I'll take these coolies all day. I'm just excited because I am just getting started here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful fish. This is striped bass fly fishing, and I'm in North Shore, New York. All right, we got another one. This is great. The water ain't even moving yet. He feels a little bigger. And I'm just working with the deceiver fly. We have these fish all to ourselves today. He's about the same size, but I'll tell you what, I'll catch him all day long like this. This is just fun. That's a big deceiver. And we could have some big boys out at night. I don't know. I always had great success with this here deceiver fly, late fall, chartreuse. Uh, I think that's a 2 0 hook and just fly fishing. Let's see if we get a follow up. No, oh, we are just nailing them. They are in there, that is for sure. I'm just working with the. De wow. I'm just working with the deceiver fly. Just really enjoying this part. I got stuck in the worst traffic of the year coming here, and I think it was a good thing. I don't think I got into these fish maybe two, three casts out. I used to do this fish here all the time when I was a kid. And uh, now I come here now and then. I know a lot of the professionals come here in the fall. In the, in the springtime, a lot of the pros come out. And you do get those bigger fish, but we could have some bigger fish too, mixed in with these schoolies. Um, a chance of bluefish, and I'm not really looking for them because they'll just shut down this here bite. And I don't think I have any big head leader for them but it could be fun could be fun go ahead buddy wow these are just incredible incredible fish and i just love these here schoolies wow he came up they're just fun on the fly tackle and it's got to be definitely got to give trout fishing a run that's for sure Especially when you have it all timed out right. I didn't have time to clip my knot. I wanted to get out here, take a take a few casts, and get that fly out. I don't really care that I didn't trim my knot out. And the water's cool, cool enough. That is for sure. Working with the deceiver fly, that's a 2 0 hook. It's plenty sharp, red chin. And I'm gonna work that till it gets beat up. I'm using this is a a nine weight outfit, floating line. Oh, probably about a 14 foot long leader. I love those long leaders. Uh, the strip, I'm varying it, but I'm giving it some fast. Or, there we go. Some fast that erratic action and a, and a pause just so they can see something's wounded they come over that pause and they'll grab it just like you saw and we have like mixed sizes here this is like the tiniest one yet but he inhaled that like he was 30 pounds and that's a 2-0 deceiver fairly long fairly long it's got to be Oh, seven, seven, seven inch long deceiver, chartreuse white. Uh, they're eating up the red chin, red head. And that's 15 pound uh, uh, leader there. And I got uh, maybe six foot, six foot of, uh, six foot of 60 pound, 50 pound model of filament to about five feet of 30 pound to about three, four feet of that 15 pound leader. Uh, those are, the, oh, I missed one. Those are the, the leaders I like to use. Let's see if they come for one on top. There's a gentleman on a boat out yonder. I've been watching him. I think these fish, I think there's a lot of them. And they gotta be in and out, pretty sure. It's just real fun fishing. A lot of work and just, everyone deserves days like this. I think he just took 
before. I think the fish just showed up. And I'm just working a deceiver fly right here in New York City, uh, North Shore striped bass fishing. Let's see. And always mention when you got your line in the water, you're definitely not going to get a good cast if your line's in the water. You really kind of want to get it up and out. And then it gets all freed up. We did a little number. We got it out. All right. So it's going to be getting dark soon. Whoa. A little bigger than I thought. I haven't seen any big, big ones, but they... You see a striped bass are definitely keeping it busy. I could do this all day long until they stop biting or until the tide drops out. It's starting to go out now, and this is where I thought it would ramp up, but it actually slowed down a little bit. Might hit them. Well, we are kind of getting them one after the other, but I'm sticking with the little bit bigger fly. A little bit bigger fly, um, maybe we'll find, hit it with something a little bit bigger. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice bass. Beautiful striped bass. Um, it's going to be getting dark soon. So I'm going to probably get into night mode and we'll be getting out of here soon. But this is just really, really fun fishing. Um, I'll take this over some big fish on the surf some days of the week not all but definitely today and get this guy in i thought he was a little bigger he took that way out there they might be pushing in again this is just fun oh he's a little bigger than the other guy that's why they're just smashing smashing the fly today um if you were fishing lures i would definitely be thinking, how did he get that? There we go. If you were fishing lures, I would definitely be thinking uh, small bucktail, uh, eighth of an ounce, um, or small, small minnow, maybe four inch, five inch minnow. Five inch minnow, that's a big profile actually. That's about a number 13 um, minnow. Uh, small minnows, small and grubs. Oh, probably four-inch grubs you would smash them with if you're going to be fishing with regular spinning or conventional tackle. Mm, just had a little, a little tap. And uh, I wanted to say real quick, this time of year, I like to wear the neoprene waders, especially if you're going to be in the water. Um, you're going to be warm uh, with the breathables you're not going to be as warm if you're wading in, in the water if you're playing around on the surf uh, you're going definitely going to be okay but when you're actually soaking you want the something thick those neoprene waders after an hour in breathables you're going to find yourself starting to get cold with the neoprene it really retains your heat and uh, it's real tricky because you can get sweaty wearing them, walking down where you're gonna, where you want to fish. And but once you get to where you want to fish, you get in the water. Um, it's definitely those you're gonna be able to fish longer, and you're not gonna be shivering, and you're gonna be warm, actually hot. They pushed in again. This is when I was expecting to get them. I'm gonna be getting dark. Maybe, oh, Let's see if they do any aerials today. They've just been pounding the surf, those little striped bass back here in the bay, New York City, New York, North Shore striped bass surf fishing. Just fantastic. You can't beat world class fishing right here in the middle of the city. 14 million people and 14 million striped bass. Just incredible fishing. Sun's going down. Oh. You don't want them to be tangling, wrapping around. 
the line. We're lucky we'll get some big ones after dark, but that's another day. Incredible. Incredible, incredible fish. And let's see how thick they are. Maybe we'll get a follow up. That's how it was. When we got in here, the water's moving now, so. That's the thing you're going to get. Do a lot of false casts when you're working your line in the water. We'll see. I'm going to be getting out of here soon. It's getting dark. Maybe they're thickening up. We'll see. Got the there we go. Got the deceiver going. See, they hit that on the pause, I believe. They are just wild, wild and thick. We have multiple cells. I don't see anyone coming back here. Like I said, this is a big spring striped bass spot. And it is full too, but... Professionals come out here in the spring for those big fish sometimes when they're around. I tend to fish around that and come out when I can and get them to myself. I used to fish out here a lot when I was a kid. Get on the bus or ride my bike, come after school, stuff like that. Real. Oh. And we're just. This is the tide I was expecting to get them on. And, uh, well, they're here. But we also had that bonus when we got here. And it's getting dark. Now it's just locked and low fishing again. And small, smaller striped bass, stripers, but I'll tell you what, fly fishing for them is just first class fishing. Uh, fish with a six weight if you want. I like the nine weight because I don't know. I fish on a whim most of the time and I don't know what's out there. I could be throwing big flies and actually this fly is a little big for the well, about right for this setup. But I could be throwing some big flies, small flies, and I find the nine weight just accommodates them all. Um, you get on the bike, then I'll come out again and maybe have fun, but then you might get those bigger fish anyway the next day. So you really don't know how to play. The tackle so I like the nine weight setup and it's getting dark so I'm going to be getting out of here but the bite is definitely ramped up now and I definitely oh I heard a splash I definitely would expect to get a few more fish might go over to a darker or an old chartreuse bigger fly oh I can feel that water moving now whoa that's a that's got to be a bigger fish if not this guy's on steroids could that be a blue? He's really running wild. Taking line as he wants. Wow. That could be the big fish of the day. Going into night now. Maybe if he's hitting the back or something with the fly. Wow. I'm curious. He really hit that. He's just running. He's wild. He just, he just got a lot of juice in him, that's all. See how he's hooked. I'm curious because he just really, really played better than that bigger fish we had. Yeah. Big fat little guy. Striped bass fish in here. He really... He's going to be a big fish. He's just an aggressive, crazy, crazy striped bass. 